i vehemently believe my idea of god my idea about myself is absolute now none of us have the courage to question like how is it from where you got all this all that things that you are carrying today the beliefs and the values and all this which you don't even feel like questioning today obviously what are you i am a vegetarian why why are you vegetarian another person says i am a non vegetarian why are you a non vegetarian now another person comes and says i am a vegan why are you a vegan i am not saying you should be any one of that that's not my point you can you can choose but you genuinely think this is what it is and everyone should be living according to that standard that's what the dispute is that much of vehement holding on to your idea obstinately holding on to your concept my idea of god my idea of this you hold on to it that holding where a part is taken as a whole a bit small piece of information is taken and blown that to the total thing see that's the blindness vedanta is cautioning he is cautioning us in the beginning itself don't make that mistake don't take a part of it and say the whole thing is like that you ask someone to de- de- describe you have you not de- de- described people ah he is a very angry person now is he angry 24 bar 7 365 days no he just shows that part of it once or twice that once or twice expre- expressing anger is taken as the total personality you see it just takes one sim- simple part whatever is is visible to me whatever i come across i take that whole personality to be that that is why you study the scriptures in the puranas the itihasas they describe beautifully the villain ravana was described with so many beautiful qualities you see he is a he is a rakshasa that rakshasa fellow he has a flag you know every country has a flag similarly ravana also had a flag what is that carries in that flag sir he keeps a musical instrument veena you see veena was kept in his flag you can imagine how artistic the person is how much of beauty and how great devotion he had how genuine he is how generous he is with reference to his subjects he was not you know tetter or racing everyone in lanka they were all living such a luxurious life fantastic king he is with reference to lanka of course describe beautiful qualities of him but at the same time they describe the other side also of ravana you see that is the beauty of those masters if they were to write you know if they want to portray villain why they have to give all this positive great qualities in him just to show to you and me don't come to a conclusion looking at one dimension you know at home people believe you to be one person your friends believe you to be one person in your office people believe you to be one person there's a person whom we know here you know he is called in his office as hitler in his office he is a hitler but at home 
we ask his friends his relatives we ask sir you will not find such a sweet fellow like him if you want to pick up one sweetest amongst all of us he would be number 1 but the same person is viewed there as what now what is he is he a hitler or is he a sweet person every dimension of your life what are you doing we take up one facet one dimension of that personality one action of that person and brand that person to be totally that why do you look at only that you chanced upon to fall upon it that's about it you meet the world in one aspect that is why everyone gives one one definition to the world one person says it's so nice another person says it's so horrible one person says kam se kam sa each one is touching one one aspect of it please learn to understand every knowledge that you are carrying is only one dimension and there are more dimensions to life learn to expand there are more aspects to know about that person but in our own home we find it difficult to understand but all of us can understand people far away from us what is happening in uganda you know but better but no clue of what's happening in your house why you you just you know blind yourself to the things he says take a step and recognize what is so interesting about it is why you are able to hold vehemently to that is because you are partly correct you see if you are totally wrong you cannot be holding on to it that is not possible you are partly right vedanta is against opinions and what is vedanta giving sir it just gives you certain pointers it describes god how sir it starts moving from known to the unknown 